What's up everyone? Let's try to do some math for fun. And today we're going to do some trigonometry. So here we go. In this video, we're going to evaluate the sum of the sine of k degrees for k starting from zero all the way up to 359. And I know it is very easy for most people if they know the trick identities and uh, if they know uh, the special method of pairing, um, pairing some of the terms so that they will cancel each other and we will be able to get the answer quickly. However, the method of pairing is not really that formal. And this time we want to get a formal solution for the big sum right here. And also, like I said, it will be kind of easy, uh, too easy or boring if we are going to use all the trick identities or properties that we know of to calculate it. It will be too quick. So this time, I'm going to limit the properties that we can use for our calculation, which, um, which are the periodicity and the op function property uh, only. What does that mean? It means that besides the two properties that are listed on the board, we are not allowed to use any other trick identities. And let's um, go over the properties on the board so that we will know what to do later on. First, the periodicity of sine function. We know that a regular sine function, sine of x, has the period of 2 pi. And it also implies that for any angle theta, sine of theta is equal to sine of the quantity theta plus 2 pi. Meaning, no matter which angle we pick, if we are going to add 2 pi on that angle and throw it uh, into the sine function, we will actually get the same result. And of course, you can go uh, the other way around, negative 2 pi or minus 2 pi, or you can go even further. So you can just do uh, any multiples of 2 pi. The other property is saying that sine is actually an odd function. And for an odd function, it means that if we, mm, ch uh, if we change our input to be negative, it will be the same as having a negative output. In particular, we can say that sine of negative theta is equal to negative of sine theta. All right, having the two properties that we need for our calculation, let's jump into the solution. So, first of all, I'm going to call this big sum right here, letter S. And again, we need to find out the sum S. So, might as well just give it the name uh, so that in our calculation, it will be easy to call. And again, let's write out what this summation is. It is starting from sine of zero degrees, we are going to add um, for each degree. So we have sine of zero degree plus sine of one degree, all the way up to sine of 359 degrees. Nice. So, our next step here is going to multiply both sides by negative 1 and see what we can get. On the left hand side, if we multiply by negative 1, we now get negative, ad, negative s. And on the right hand side, all the terms becomes negative. So, we get negative sine of 0 degree minus negative sine of one degree minus dot 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 up to sine of 359 degrees. Great. Next, let's try to use one of the properties. And why? We see that now each term on the right hand side is negative of sine. And one of the properties says we can try to do something if we have negative sine. 
which is the odd function property. But how are we going to imply it? Well, we're going to imply from the right to the left, since the right hand side starts off with negative of sine. So using the property, we now get sine of the negative angle, which is in this case, we have sine of negative zero degree plus sine of negative one degree plus all the way down to sine of negative 359 degrees. Okay, so <clears throat> right here, let's keep in mind sine of negative zero degree and in fact negative zero degree is just it's just the same as zero degree. Why? Because negative zero is just zero. So just keep in mind that we have sine of zero degree for the first term. Okay? And let's try to write out what we're going to do next. So we get sine of zero degree here for the very first term. Now starting from the second term, we can use the other property that we, uh, that we have here, which is the periodicity of sine function. Again, how do we do it? Remember, 2 pi radian is the same as 360 degrees. And the periodicity, um, the periodicity of sine degree, uh, sine function tells us that sine of any angle is the same as sine of that angle plus 360 degrees. So if we use the property for each of the terms starting from the second term, we now get sine of 360 minus 1, which is three, uh, 359 degrees, plus the next term will be 360 minus 2, which is 358, and then dot 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 all the way down to the last term, which gives us a sine of 1 degree. Excellent. Now, let's take a look carefully. First of all, this is a finite sum, meaning we can rearrange the order however we want, and the sum will still be the same. In fact, if we take all the terms starting from second term and flip the order of how we, uh, how we write it, we will now get sine of one degree plus sine of two degrees plus all the way down to the sine of 359 degrees, right? And don't forget, we saw the very first term, which is sine of zero degree. And notice, wow, we actually get the, uh, this thing back. We actually get the original sum that we need to evaluate. And don't forget, we actually name it S. So let's use the notation S right here. Excellent. So now we actually get the following. Negative S equals all the way down to here, which is S. So let's wrap it up. Uh, uh, uh. Let's jump to the next board and wrap it up to find out the value of this big sum here. So in the last board, we found out the relation right here, negative s equals s. And now we can just solve for s through uh, algebra and find out what this big sum is. So we can just subtract s on both sides, giving us negative 2s equals zero, which means we can divide negative two on both sides and giving us s equals zero divided by negative two, which is zero. Therefore, this big sum here, sine of k degree, where k starts from zero up to 359, is in fact equal to zero. Does this surprise you? Perhaps not, but perhaps for some people. And if you don't believe that, you can use the pairing method to find out if you actually get the same answer. 
Pretty cool, huh? So before I end this video, I'm going to give you guys a homework assignment. So this time, instead of adding up the sign functions, let's try to add up with the with the cosine functions. And again, we are still doing with degrees, just just to show, uh, just to make it easy to calculate. And again, k will start from zero, and end up with three hundred fifty nine. And in fact. This uh, uh, this big sum here has the answer also equal to zero, and of course, you can try to use the pairing method, uh, and of course need to pair up in a special way, but then you will see how we can cancel and get the answer here. Here is the real question, though. Can we use the same method as we did in the video for the sine function, with again? Just the two properties, the periodicity of cosine function, and then the even odd property for the cosine function, and to get the results that we want using the same method, meaning we're going to set the whole sum equals s and try to manipulate with the algebra. Please leave your comment below um, if you uh, if you know the answer. Or if you have any thoughts, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe my channel so that you can find out more of my videos. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.